Hello everyone, uh, hope you're having a great evening, Danny here, welcome to another video and uh, this time this is something I've been thinking of doing and been wanting to do for a little while Brack, uh, Brack, 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 Friro, Black Friday um, It's coming up tomorrow if you're watching this um, on this eve of the 25th of uh, November or maybe it's today or maybe I was late uploading or you were late watching and it's been gone <laughs> uh, but either way, it seems like uh, the perfect time to um, do some, uh, just talk about uh, protein powders and what I like and what I don't like and uh, what I look for. Now, just gonna get this right out of the way first, okay? Uh, I am uh, vegan on a, a plant-based diet. Um, if you're here for whey uh, or beef-based or or salmon-based protein, then this isn't the place. Although, spoiler, you know, if you are not um, if you're not vegan and you, that's what you wanted, there's, and you wanted something that wasn't just like, uh, but you wanted to know what non-vegan, uh, excuse me, options are out there. Uh, yeah, whey's pretty good. Uh, casein's pretty good. I don't know if casein is vegan. I actually don't really know what casein is made of. Um, let's have a look. Why not? I think it comes from bone. Let's have a little gander. Casein, family-related. Phosphor proteins, these proteins are commonly found in mammoth milk. Uh, so there's another kind of milk comes in. Um, yeah, you can also get um, beef based protein uh, rather than the whey, which is obviously from the milk. And I believe you can get salmon protein as well. Salmon protein. Uh, how much protein is one of the serving is salmon? No, maybe not. I don't know, maybe I was wrong there. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, with that out of the way, let's talk about uh, protein shakes specifically that are good for vegans as well. Hooray! And um, yeah, in order to do this, let's, it's pretty best to go right back to the beginning really and talk about what we're looking for in a protein shake. So uh, I found this. This is pretty good. These are uh, all of your... Uh, amino acids. Amino acids are what proteins essentially are. The nine essential ones here: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Um, you've got your conditional, non-essential, and then non-essential. Now, exactly what they are, exactly, exactly, is not something that I'm in a position to be able to go into. Um, but let's just get the important stuff out of the way. They're called essential for a reason. Um, long story short, as far as I from what, how I understand it, if you don't get all nine of your essential amino acids, it doesn't matter how many conditional or non-essential you get, you will not, um, you will not take in those amino acids into the body. So your nine essential amino acids are key uh, to taking protein into your body. Okay, so now that's out of the way, we need to know, well, we don't need to know, but it's nice to know what has what in it now. I've pulled up, I found these really good charts, uh, which I'll show you in a second, um, that show you the different um, quantities of amino acids in the most common protein sources that you'll find in vegan proteins. Starting with probably the most common, common, common is soy. Um, these are all from VegFacts, by the way, VegFacts.com, so thank you very much VegFacts for making these charts, they're really good. You can see here all your amino acids, I'm not sure how many, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Is that all of them? 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 20. There's 20. Alright, I think what it is is on these charts, you can see that glute acid. I think that's a mix of the two. Uh, but the most important ones are asterisks. So hopefully you can see that. Um, this one here, that's essential, 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 essential. Um, Soy has a, uh, all of these amino acids in it. You'll find that they all have a high number of these, this uh, glutamate acid, but again, I'm pretty sure this is a mix of two. Um, this is your most common one that you'll find, pretty steady mix across the board. Low on this essential amino acid there, try, uh, uh, tryptophan, excuse me. So hopefully um, in a product that has soy protein, it'll have other ones that Maybe balance it out. Next one I want to look at is P. You can see straight away P has a bit more tryptophan in it. Um, again, 
high amount of glute acid. It's worth noting actually that this chart goes up to 18%, the soy one goes up to 20 because there's more than 18% here. So that's just worth noting. So here's your P1. Uh, we'll just do a quick comparison again. If you, you know, the eyes can kind of see the subtle differences. So a little bit of checks and balances here between uh, your essential amino acid sets. Um, next one of note, brown rice, also very common uh, to see. It's doing quite similar. They're all going to be roughly quite similar, but they're just going to have subtle differences along the lower um, amounts here. Last one as well to go into, and one that I think is really, really good, is hemp. So hemp actually is quite high on some of these other ones here. You see arginine, oh, they're all quite high to be fair. Um, it's, in my opinion, without sort of really divulging into it, it's more balanced across the board for a lot of these here, which is nice. Um, hemp is quite hard to come by in a, vegan, in a, a protein shake. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. So anyway, let's just go through some of the brands that I've sort of tested or have on my radar. And um, yeah, hopefully you, you get some ideas about where you want to go. So the first one we're going to look at here is ON, Optimal Nutrition, or Optimum Nutrition, I should say. Now, full disclosure first, I've never tried the vegan um, ON stuff. I have used Gold Standard. Uh, you've probably heard of Gold Standard. Maybe you haven't. Um, Gold Standard. Uh, we're, you know, we're back to <laughs> we're back to talking about non-vegan stuff. The thing that's really interesting about Gold Standard is uh, let's select yeah just to have a look. So the thing that's really interesting about Gold Standard is the protein count's quite high and the carb is very low. Um, in comparison, we've got 1.3 grams of carbohydrate to 24 grams of protein in Gold Standard. So that's quite interesting. Um, it's going to have its uses, you know, if you if you kind of need that protein in you and you don't want to be gaining too much, then that's going to be used. Serious mass, I've also used this. This is going to be a little bit different. Um, again, it's not vegan. I probably shouldn't have really started by saying we're not going to cover non-vegan. Um, holy moly moly. Okay, big thing to note here is that the calorie account is pretty big. Um, this picture is awful. Yeah, 1,267 calories per serving. I think that's 50 grams of protein and that's 256 grams of carbs. Although the serving size on this is humongous. Um, ON is pretty high grade stuff in my opinion. It's pretty decent. Although I will say it's quite expensive. Um, well, you know, five, oh. <laughs> yeah, five kilograms. You only get 16 shakes out of it. The serious mass, um, we've got the scoop. Yeah, it's more... It's like, do you remember the the thing that your your mum would put the the used to put water into the washing machine at the top? You know the the detergent. You you know, you know that you know what I'm talking about. It's like that. It's huge. Um, anyway, let's get to the important stuff and talk about some of their vegan protein. <clears throat> um, yeah. Okay. Gold standard, 100% plant-based proteins. Now we know what we're looking for. We want a good range of uh. What we're oh, I should I should have really talked about this as well. Like, how much protein do I expect in a protein? Minimum twenty. Minimum twenty is sort of in a twenty gram serve in a uh, in a standard sort of yeah, it's maybe like a thirty gram serving. This one claims to have a complete amino acid profile, which shouldn't be too hard considering they've all got um, you know all of your amino acids are pretty good for for that. So we can have a look here. That's nutrition information that we want. Where's the ingredients? Oh, this is Vegan Society approved as well. Oh, this is this is gold standard. So are we are we expecting to see low carbohydrates? Five point two grams. Yeah, pretty low again. Very low. Okay, so this is your sort of vegan equivalent gold standard. The carbohydrate is slightly high, which is to be expected when you're talking about a vegan. Um, uh, yeah, vegan shake. So this one here. Now I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you about taste. From what I remember, ON's way gold standards. Not bad. It's pretty good. Um, now we do have, if I'm not mistaken, is there a different one here? Yeah, Plant Elite. So let's have a look at what this one is. This one also has a complete amino acid profile. 
for muscle support and repair. So what's different about this one? Let's go, there you go, chocolate. Okay, 24 grams of protein and slightly lower carbohydrate. That's kind of interesting, that's strange. Um, I wonder why that is. So if you're looking for high protein with a low carbohydrate, ON is, is quite an interesting one to go for. Any other options here? I've got plant bundle, I've got the plant-based pre-workout as well, that's quite cool. Which you can only buy as part of a bundle. Um, yeah, the other, reason I really want, the other reason I really wanted to do this right now is because I know we're going to be going to some Black Friday deals, free delivery on all orders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, onwards from uh, Owen to my vegan. Uh, my vegan being the vegan version of my protein, of course, which is your kind of standard run of the mill, down the middle, very, very common one that you'll see, a bit like um, seeing a gym shark shirt, really very common. Uh, obviously, this is the vegan version. And right off the bat, we've got some Black Friday deals here. 55% uh, 50, of everything green, 55. Oh, happy days. Um, let's see what they got going on. Uh, no, I've never bought their vegan protein blend myself. This is v uh, Ruby Chocolate. What? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, well, anyway. Um, yeah, let's, I mean, let's get in right into the brass tacks of this. So, 61% of this is pea protein, fava bean isolate. Um, what's the rest? Of, oh, the rest of it is just everything else, is it? Okay. So this one is primarily our pea protein, so we can refer back to our pea protein uh, uh, chart here so we can see what we're going to get a lot of and what we're not going to get so much of. Um, so once again, this is something I mentioned earlier on, is sort of you want to get a good um, a good spread fava bean. I've never really seen fava bean, I don't know, uh, maybe it's going to tell us more here. I ready to enjoy a new chocolate experience? Indulge in a world of flavor of the new and limited edition Ruby Chocolate Bean Program brand. Only da, 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 da. okay, 22, 110 calories per serving. A bit low for me, in my opinion. I I know low calorie is often better. I I'm on a bit of a bulk myself, so I like it a bit higher. It does pass a 22 a 20 gram threshold. Um, it contains full amino acid. Okay, it does claim to contain the full amino acid profile. We can probably assume that it uh, it does, because you know, should probably shouldn't be lying online. Um, well, that's interesting. Oh, uh, this is the other. That's the standard vegan protein blend here. Vegan Amiga. Uh, yeah. So we're only ah. Yeah, this is a great time to talk about uh, something that's really good that my vegan do, which is their clear protein. Um, this one. Drumstick and the swizzles. I actually really want to try. Let's have a quick look. I've not tried this one particularly, but let's go to one I have tried and then let's let's move back onto that. Here you go, clear. Okay. Now, have you had a, have you had a protein shake before? And it's all a bit gloopy and it's a bit clunky. And it's a bit even if you've mixed with water, it's a bit milky, and it's a bit just a bit thick. It's a bit much, right? And you wish it was something a bit easier to drink. Well, that's the whole point. Of this essentially is that it's a bit fresher, it's a bit easier to drink. Now, there is a bit of a funkiness to it, as you would expect. There is a little bit of a funkiness to it. Jesus Christ, 45 pounds uh, over a pound of serving. You, it's only 10 grams of protein, and this is the important bit it is 10 grams of protein. Um, it's not so much just a, simply a protein shake, but it's it's certainly got your protein in there. It's pretty more like if you you know what um, uh, Oblivion is. That means something twenty one. Anyway, the protein source is pea, only pea. Okay, so you're not. Let's have a look. You, you I can't imagine you're going to get a full amino acid spread. No, high in B vitamin though low sugar yeah 10 grams so this is a low so um if you're wondering why you would want to use this you could double serving it in the evening in theory 20 grams of protein before you go to bed um having a hit of protein before you go to bed is is pretty optimal uh it's only marks as vegetarian not vegan why is that that's strange anyway um 
because sometimes the protein shake is a bit heavy before bed. I don't know about you, it can be a bit heavy. Um, yeah, there's loads of different options of, of flavors. I've tried lemon and lime, I've tried, whoa, orange and grapefruit. Yeah, lemon and lime, have I had grape? No, I've had lemon and lime, I like lemon and lime. Yeah, um, but this is the other flavor which was sold out last time I was looking at this stuff. Jesus Christ, Tenso. <laughs> That's expensive, 15. But you can get drumstick flavor. That's pretty cool. Drumstick flavor, why choose? I'm not getting into that now. I suggested you know. 16 grams serving. Uh, da, da, da. Is it 10 again? Carbohydrates per serving. Let's see, yeah, 10 grams of protein per serving. So it's an interesting, it's an interesting option. I haven't seen any, uh, oh no, tell a lie. I was just gonna say I've never seen any other company there are other companies that have done this. I don't know who was first. Uh, oh, wow, look, you can get it as a, a can. Okay. Um, yeah, pea protein. Does it have... Tell you how much is in the can per serving. Do, do, do. Six grams of protein. Okay, that's probably not even worth buying, in my opinion. Um, fair enough. Anyway, yeah, uh, this is this is my this is the uh, my vegan. As I said, this is the only one of them that I have tried. I've not tried any vegan protein blend. I'm tempted to try it. Uh, this limited edition, a kilogram for twenty eight pounds. That's not too bad. But that is yeah, my vegan slash my protein. Okay. So let's uh, start to move ourselves a little bit off the beaten path now. We've looked at my vegan. Um, there's my protein. I wonder what happens if you just type vegan in here. Ah, you just get the my vegan stuff. Uh, ooh, creatine monohydrate as a tablet. Yo. Um, anyway, let's not get... Let's not get... Uh, here, look, code black there. You've got green 55 here. Uh, I think ON is sort of letting itself down right now as far as win, win a signed England rugby shirt. Not for me, not for me, not for me, chaps. Let's go on to Redcon 1. Okay, Redcon 1 is probably what I, I would say, if someone was like, what's Redcon 1? I'd say this is more of a bit of a, um, a hardcore brand thing. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Warzo Muscle Builder Protein Synthesis. Muscle build. I wonder what's in this. Page not found. Oh damn! See, um, this looks like a really good. So what do you do here? Use discount code BF33. So you get pre-workout plus duffel bag plus shaker plus shirt plus lifting straps when you spend forty-five pounds. I mean, that's a that's a big bundle of stuff, isn't it? I do need a new bag, so I'm actually. Very tempted uh, when you spend forty-five pounds free shipping. When you spend seventy-five, Jesus Christ! Uh, blah 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 blah. Right. Anyway, um, canteen. But yeah, uh, yeah. So they do quite a lot of different stuff. Um, this is where you're going to start to find things. You know, testosterone support. Um, is that a bit of, is that Kai Green? Kai Green, I want to say. I don't know. Anyway, um, hashtag Meathead. So this is more, yeah, a lot more of the sort of hardcore stuff here. Uh, let's focus on their. Oh, what have they got for Black Friday? Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, new flavor of pre right, I'm getting, I'm getting. All right, let's let's get on. Let's get on point, guys. Protein. Uh, here it is. This is their vegan one. Excuse me, I'm just going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is their vegan uh, protein. It's called Green Beret. Um, pretty cool name. 20 grams uh, blend of pea, brown rice, and quinoa protein. So that's quite cool. I like that. I like there's a mix here. Um... There's not a lot of information on this page. Am I on? I want the British one, boys. Come on. One problem, yeah, that you'll find with um, 
is that with, with Redcon 1 is that they keep flipping back and forth between uh, American and British uh, websites. Where's the key information? There's not, <laughs> there's not a lot of information. Okay, well, let me save you guys something as well, okay? Strawberry. I have a tub of strawberry downstairs. I actually have. Did I use it? I had had a tub. I've had. I've been through maybe two or three of these chocolate ones. Um, as far as taste goes, this is some low grade stuff, lads. I'm really sorry to say. Um, the strawberry one is actually so bad that I assumed there was something wrong with it. Um, I did message Redcon One. They, to be fair to them, they just sent me a free chocolate one. No question. Just sent it out, and then they asked for the batch number to check the batch. I didn't hear anything back, so I'm assuming the batch was fine, and that it's just that the 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 strawberry flavor is is unbearable. I'm actually planning to give it away. I've been struggling to give it away. It's that bad. Uh, 20 grams of protein. We are at the bottom end of the um, of the spectrum of what we want. Unfortunately, there's not there's not a lot of um, best vegan you've tasted. I do not believe you. Um, there's not a lot of other options. Uh, so there's not a lot of information here to go into, but taste wise. It's a strong avoid for me. But while we're looking, while we're on Redcon One, for everything else, pre-workouts are really good. Um, muscle building. I mean, they just got. They have a lot here. Go like muscle builder, grunt, uh, Moab, boomstick. Um, they got a lot of good, lot of stuff. I don't know what is and is not vegan. You know, you have to check that out for yourself. But yeah, Redcon One, protein-wise, abysmal. Okay, moving ourselves on to, um, we've got a few more to go through here. The protein works. Welcome. 40% of your first order. I, uh, it's not my first order, chaps. Anyway, let's not get into that. Now, some interesting, uh, this is quite an interesting one. The latest drops. Now, the, every, not everything about this is vegan, of course. I think the green... It's usually a good indicator that it is vegan. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, I do have some questions. Immunity boost. Uh, I do have a super green from these guys. I also have... Uh, see, the, no, right, let's... Uh, there it is, now, Nootropic. I do use this, um, which I have talked about in a previous video. Let's just go into... Oh, look, vegan. Look at that. Vegan protein. There you go. Right. Diet meal replacement extreme. Right, let's have a look and see what these guys are doing. 25 grams of protein, 200 calories, uh, boosted with green tea. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Now, ingredients. Protein, uh, soy, pea, hemp, brown rice, and organic sunflower protein. Now, I didn't want to spoil the surprise. Here is the surprise spoiled, essentially. From what I can tell, of the ones I'm going to talk about today, I, I believe the one that has the highest spread of different uh, things in it is the Protein Works. So, well done to them for doing this. Um, oh yeah, we're right here. <laughs> protein, 24 grams of protein per 60 gram serving. 60 grams is quite a big serving of that. Carbohydrates. 18 grams. I would like more. Obviously, this is supposed to be a meal replacement thing. I, I probably well, I just put it out there. I don't believe in real meal replacements anyway. So if you're going to use it, use it as a supplement, not a replacement. Oh look, at this. it's got coconut in it, green tea, got your soy brown rice, pea oats, flax. Yeah, fantastic, great spread, really good. Um, let's take it back. Vegan protein extreme. This is the deal of the day apparently. Let's have a look. Interestingly, soy, pea, pumpkin, sunflower, brown rice, no hemp in this one. These guys are have a good spread. I don't know if you can hear that train coming past. Um, they have a really big spread of the of ingredients that they use. I don't know what the vegan wonder shake is. Quad plant, good for you. Vegan wonder shakes like no other vegan protein you've ever tried. They all say that. Born up a simple it's traditional idea to create a plant based protein shake that tastes as good as any dairy protein shake. Right, okay, it's making bold claims here. Protein blend pea, soy, hemp, brown rice. It uses four 
Um, how are we doing for, right, 21 grams of protein per 25 gram serving. Now, this is interesting. This is getting better. 25 gram serving. Wow, look at the carbs. It's really low. Okay, so this is going to be, um, this mimics our um, ON. Our goat gold our pro our uh, vegan gold standard on in that it's gonna be high protein low carb if we go back as well vegan protein extreme I, interesting name calling it extreme 35 gram serving 27 grams of protein so this is something also worth checking is how much serving are you expected to put in? Uh, this one uses one, two, three, four, five. I forgot that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. So this is five different sources of protein in this one here. Um, we can level out the 100 grams, 78 grams there. Carbohydrates, some really low carbs. Uh, this one was different. Vegan protein, their standard vegan protein. Ganderuni. So if I'm not mistaken, this is probably the widest option we've got here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five different options again here. That can't be right. That's probably 25 gram serving. That's a typo. 25 grams of protein. 0.6. What the heck, Aru? That's insane. What is going on? Surely at that level of carbohydrate, it's like keto, isn't it? My God. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I would be wary of this. That's interesting. That's odd. Whoa. Do you know what, actually, I have a picture of one that I have downstairs on my phone, so I can check it right now. Um... But yeah, the thing that really draws me to the protein works is they um, they have quite high protein count. Well, this one's got thirty grams per hundred grams. So, oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Pea, rice, hemp. Uh, they've got a wider spread of um, ingredients for creating protein as well, which is cool. Mass gainer. This is usually the one that you want to look at. And be like, oy, oy, here we go. For me, anyway, mass gainer, soy, rice, pea. Okay, 125 gram serving, bro. I don't. Oh, see, look at the carbs, 75 grams. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great either. <laughs> it's not great either. Um, oh, I don't have a picture of it. Yeah, um, it surprised me about how the carbohydrates are so low. It depends on what you want it for. If you're trying to bulk, you need carbohydrates in there. Soy, pea, hemp. Yeah, super low carbohydrates again. Diet. Interesting. So, big broad range here in the protein works. Um, wide options. What the Paleo here. Wow, that's paleo. There you go. Big options for um, what uh, your protein source is from the protein works. So overall, interesting. Uh, yeah, that is the protein works. All right, moving into bodybuilding warehouse. Oh, whoops, just clicked on the... Uh, oh, God, this is giving me uh, PTSD. Bodybuilding warehouse, they have... Various stuff. This is what is what is going on? I'm, I can't even. <laughs> Everything's just going crazy. What the hell? Okay. Oh, they do ON on here as well. Interesting. Um, yeah, their their options. They have a lot of vegan options, from what I can recall. Let's just search now, shall we? Um, I've bought. I would say a fair amount of protein from these guys. I haven't bought this one. Four kilograms, twenty-five quid. Oh, there we go. There's a uh, clear one there. Look. P 
pure vegan protein. I believe I have that one. Um, yeah, I bought a lot of this stuff. I bought vanilla. And I bought unflavoured hemp. Um, just hemp protein on its own. So this vanilla. You add £19 for the vanilla. Okay, i um, just going to put it out there now. Do not, do not buy the vanilla uh, bodybuilding warehouse. In fact, in general, I would say stay clear of bodybuilding warehouse for the taste alone. It's, um, the best way to describe it is synthetic, okay? Also, it fails to meet our 20 kilogram, uh, sorry, 20 gram protein threshold, which is obviously no good. No good 21. So that's definitely an issue with um, with this product. What else have we got here? What other protein options? Vegan gains. Oh, 30 grams I see there. High calorie. High. Ooh. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. 30 grams of protein, 77 grams of carbohydrates. See, so you're trying to palm me off. Oh, that's creatine. Okay. Let's have a look here. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look at the nutritional info. Serving size 125 grams. Well, <laughs> how about now? As it is, 25 grams. Yeah, no, this is, I mean, a lot of this. Generally, sort of disappointed here. Overall, I would say. MRP. I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, Bodybuilder Warehouse. Like I said, I bought a few. The vanilla stuff, It just the thought of it actually makes me feel a bit sick. Um, <laughs> oh, there you go. That's forty-five quid for two kilograms. Yeah, I bought two box bags of that. Just such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. What's this here? Reflex. We've got oh, nice and shiny. Eighty-four servings. Looking good. Looking good. Let's have a little gander. No info. Very bad. Made with pea protein. Great. Yeah, not much info on that. I wonder why I'm just trying to flog it. Oh well. Anyway, that's Bodybuilder Warehouse. I didn't. Uh, there's not too much time to spend on Bodybuilder Warehouse, to be honest, because um, it's just not that good. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Not many to go. Okay. This one will divide the room. <laughs> It's time to talk about Huel. I have been wanting to talk about Huel for a while now. And um, I'm happy that I finally get the opportunity to do that. Um, Huel first came on my radar a few years ago. Do you know what? I don't know when Huel first started. I'll be honest with you. Is it going to tell me at the bottom maybe? Or is there an about us? Um, um, Bottom slavery statement. Student discount. Permanent back collab store. Um, no. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Um, from what I can recall, when Huel first came about, the kind of the goal, the dream, was to create a, a powder that meant you didn't have to eat food. You would just drink this powder. And um, well, I called bullshit. <laughs> I called bullshit pretty early on. Right from the beginning, I was like, no, 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 don't even, no, just, no. Um, and since then, they've definitely moved away from that into more of a occasional meal replacement um, sort of marketing idea, which I still do not agree with, personally. I don't believe that you should be replacing meals. I believe you should just, you know, have meals <laughs> and then supplement around it. Uh, I believe they should be called supplements. So let's just go through. These are the two products that I have had. Huel Black is one of them. You get a free Huel t-shirt at checkout. You don't want to miss out on that. Uh, the only one I've had is chocolate. Um, you can get it as a subscription. Gola, it's got tapioca, coconut, peas, rice, flax seeds, sunflower seeds. Do, do, do. 26 minerals, 40 grams of protein. That's 
I believe that would be a double scoop, which you don't want to double scoop. <laughs> you don't want to double scoop this. Um, yeah, 90 gram serving. So one scoop, I believe, is 45 gram. You don't want to double scoop. I would just, it's it's not edible. It would not be edible in, especially in the bottles. It would not be edible. Um, I think you get a chocolate. 40 grams of chocolate, 17 grams of carbohydrates. At this point, it's quite standard across the board. I don't know what they market this as. What do they market it as? Um, because I, 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 I'm sure that they market this as a meal replacer, but it's quite a good vegan protein, right? How do I use it? Uh, nope. Fuel black doesn't contain any oats. Okay, so it's got less carbs and more protein. Um, okay. Is it a weight loss product? No. Okay. Anyway, let's not get too caught up in it. Um, Taste-wise, at first, you're going to be like, nah, that's not so bad. Um, it does grate on you. It grates on you quite quickly. It grates on me. Also, they can be a bit of a pain to clean out. Sometimes they, well, not sometimes, the, the Huel Black is it, quite grainy. And what you end up li with is, well, these, like, sp just specks of chocolate must just in your shaker. You need warm water to get it out, which... If you're like me, you're on the move all the time. Sometimes, quite simply, warm water's just not there. Um, it can be a bit of a pain. And these bottles here, let's go to the bottles very quickly. Okay. Um, it's, quite, it's, it's quite a cool looking design as far as bottles go. It's, it's definitely unique. It's a unique shaker. They've designed their own shaker here, so fair play. Um, it's too thin, it's too narrow now. Compare it to um, your sort of standard average shaker that most people would ever see. It's a lot thinner. I can't physically get my hand in. So if there is specs, I can't... If I have a cloth, I can't get my hand in to actually clean the bottle itself, which is irritating. Um, other than that, the gray, the gray all works quite well. I can't remember what they call it. Um, this is a rubber... Uh, what do you call it? Lid that screws on, and then you can hold it in your finger and flick it around. It's great. It's quite good. Big issue though with it is that the plastic used is um, how can I describe this? Let's just have a look. Um, four, five, one, and two. All the rest are bad for you. Images. Let's try Google. <laughs> uh, four, five, one, and two plastics. There you go. Google loves it. Uh, let's go to images. Here we go. So these here, you'll see these on the bottom of or on the side of packets and stuff, it, go, it usually goes way further than that. Um, there's, a, I believe, Oreos packets are 9, for example, or 14 or something. Um, the old saying is 4, 5, 1, and 2, all the rest are bad for you. This one reckons that number 1 is no good. The Huel bottle is a 7, um, which means it can contain some kind of chemical that corners says you should be cautious of. Uh, let's have a look at this one here. This one also says seven, you should be cautious of. Uh, if you're not aware of what phthalates are, let's just type in phthalates. Phthalates, um, they're not good for you. They're in a lot of plastics. The the bottle, the the, 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 the water, the, the huel will take on the dangerous chemicals of the plastics and you'll drink it essentially. So big let down from the bottle there. Um, let's move on to the other one I've used, which is Huel Complete Protein. Now, what is the difference? First of all, the chocolate fudge tastes a hell of a lot better than the chocolate Huel Black. 
Let's see. It's got black pepper on it. It just seems like it has some more ingredients. Apparently, it's a bit cheaper. Again, only 120 grams of protein here. Uh, where's all our gubbins? Nutritional information. Uh, chocolate fudge brownie. 20 grams. Carbs down at 3. So, less carbs than the fuel black. I haven't tried fuel, fuel white, or I don't really like to call things white these days, you know. Fuel powder, I think it was just more expensive, and I just thought I didn't really want it. You can pay a little bit more and get informed sport, so um, you can get it. it what, 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 that, what that means is if you're an athlete and you get, you get given a piss test out of nowhere and you come up hot, then what you can do is you can get a certificate to say that your fuel stuff has been batch tested so because sometimes in a factory believe it or not we'll say sometimes fairly common actually a lot of these here it, it wouldn't be a surprise to find um, steroid actually in in it for whatever reason it gets in it sometimes it's added intentionally just to make the product better um, unbeknownst to the consumer of course but yeah anyway it says height it doesn't actually tell you what the protein count is in this um, I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried this one. A hundred gram serving per. Why does it tell you like that then? Oh, okay, the protein count is basically noise testing. That's why. Um, yeah, this is just more of a complete drink that isn't so much based on your uh, your protein intake. Um, but yeah, essentially that's that's fuel. Essentially, I would avoid the bottles. Um, Avoid the bottle. They, they they give them away. That's the only thing. I've got two. I've also got a free T-shirt. Um, I'm a bit sad because the idea of the product seems quite good. I'm just not overly convinced on it entirely. Um, how much is complete again? I got like that. One time. You could save with a subscription. Yeah, but I'm not. You have to buy a minimum of two tubs. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, a £25 a tub. Okay, well, you get quite a lot out of that, to be fair. Yeah, that's fuel. That's fuel. I've got nothing more to say about it than that's fuel. Alright, this will probably be the last we'll look at. Bulk powders. I'm assuming this is the same bulk powder as the one I bought before. The, the logo is very different. I remember it was all white and it had, like, green circles on it. Anyway, not important. Do have a Black Friday sale here. And we can suitable for vegan. There we go. Um, type powder. That's what you came for, isn't it? Creatine monohydrate. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. 70p off. Vegan protein powder. All right. What is vegan bulk powders like? Not had this one before. Apple strudel suits you, sir. Two and a half kilograms for thirty-one pound fifty. That's actually not bad. I'm quite. That's pretty good. Apple strudel there. Look. Sustainability ingredients, please. V plus protein bear. Right. P rice, pumpkin, quinoa, flax seeds. We got one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. That's good. I like that nutrition. 23 grams of protein mm -hmm. per serving. Serving is 35 grams. 25 grams of protein, 1.9 grams of carbohydrates. I, why? The, oh, that's the unflavored. Right, here we go, flavored. 3.6 grams of carbon. The carbohydrate counts on these are so so low. It's crazy. I, I don't know why. I just thought it would be the other way around. I just thought they'd be, you know, got a little bit of carbohydrate, bruh. Um... What's kind of the option here? Chocolate mint's probably the one I would go for, if I'm being honest, because rule of thumb, I've just found that in general, anything other than chocolate just tastes like uh, poop. <laughs> it just tastes like poop. Uh, oh no, I can't go back. Vegan protein. Right. Deal of the day. Bulk, bulk, bulk. So is that there? Have they got hemp there? Look. Spirulina powder, ooh, dangerous. You've got to be a special kind of psychopath to be able to uh, 
with Stan eating having a spirulina anyway kale powder bloody hell kale powder vegan all in one right what have we got here then that's out of stock oh, that's a shame P brown same as before isn't it nutrition ah no wonder it's out of stock <laughs> oh 60 grams sorry in case you have that okay um of the ones that we've talked about today, I know you're going to say, well, which one would you go for? It's a very difficult question. I think I've had enough of your oh, complete. There's a possibility of me going for complete, so I'm going to leave that tab open there. Bodybuilding warehouse is going to be a big... Mm, Is it going to be a big... Uh, yeah, it's a big no-no. I don't want any more of this in my life, dear God. The taste alone is so synthetic. It's disgusting. Protein Works is definitely up there. Take that off. Put the vegan back on. Um, Mass Gainer Extreme. What's the difference? Oh, it's okay. Mass Gainer. You do need to take your time with... with um, oh, no, dear, no. Don't get drawn into things like that where it's like mass gainer and it's got really high numbers and it's because the serving's massive. You want one when the serving is sort of a relative, you know, like like relatively acceptable. Now the flavours on these are up and down. I would say millionaire shortbread is okay. How much for four kilograms? Okay, two kilograms, thirty eight quid. Okay, so yeah, that's not too bad. Big inv big commitment though, four kilograms or something. You got to bloody like it. <laughs> so that's an option for me. I would say, um, with it being Black Friday, I'm looking to get a big saving on a big load. Um, absolutely no chance that I'm going to go for red con one. <laughs> my protein is only that open. We've got this. Um, this is quite an interesting looking one in my opinion. P flower. No, I just don't. I just don't want one with only one or two options. I want one with more. Um, I don't remember what these were like. Vegan protein. Here we go. What's this glycomase? Stage release. 30 grams of carbohydrates. It's, a, it's the essential to assure they have adequate stores of carbohydrate based glycogen before during the night. Having glycomase in your shake ensures an optimal delivery. That's interesting. Just add a bit of carb. Mix one round teaspoon with water or juice in your OM shaker. Oh, it's an unflavored thing. Okay, so this is a bit of a this is a carb booster. I'd probably double that actually myself. I'd double that in. It's suitable for vegans as well. Interesting, um, but we're just here to talk about plant-based stuff. 24 grams of protein. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, of course, you've got to pick. Uh, there we go. Let's have a look. 24 grams of protein to 4.2 grams of carbohydrates. Again, not bad. Um, I'll probably steer clear of ON. Um, it's not even a kilogram. It's twenty-eight pound. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's just not worth. Yeah, you can just get way more. So I'm gonna, for me, I'm gonna, I'll be steering clear of ON, my vegan. Oh yeah, don't talk about. That. <laughs> it's probably gonna be, protein works here. Uh, clear way. Oh, they got some clear as well. Look. They got millions. Seems to be the big thing at the moment. Million, uh, the the clear. Crea pure creatine monohydrate. Could do with getting some more of that. To be fair. Uh, that's really good for you, that ashwagandha. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting off topic again. I'm getting. I'm forgetting that I'm recording the video. Uh, it's probably gonna be here for me. I think. Uh, yeah, 
I think, of the ones that I've looked at. There are many other out there. There's so many. This is the one that, um... Really? You reckon you can get to me in... Plenty of. I might actually take you up on that for order within half an hour. They'll get to me tomorrow. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be taking up the protein works for this one, but I think I'm going to go for two kilograms just in case it tastes like ass. I'm going to go for millionaire shortbread because I do like to have one before bed, and I'm worried that the if it's got chocolate in it, it might have a little bit of protein, a uh, bit of caffeine, excuse me, and that will keep me awake. Same is about the same. Anyway, yeah, this has been this video on vegan protein, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the rambling, and I hope to see you again soon. Cheers.